Welcome to Get Brews. I am Cody. I'm Heather. Yeah, it's good to see you guys again on a cold Thursday. Cold Thursday. If you know what I mean. We got something different today, kind of. Uh, it's the same, but different. It's mm -hmm. not an IPA. It is... Do it. Do it. All right, all right. It is a Voodoo Ranger hard-charged he each and 7% uh, alcohol. We've never done a uh, Voodoo Ranger sweet tea. Uh, it's a, well, it's a, it's an alcoholic beverage, of course, but yeah, do it. Yeah, but true. anyway, we've never done one, as I'm saying. We've done all the Voodoo Rangers except for one other tea one after this one, and then the Peach, I, Voodoo, Peach, Forest. Peach yeah. Forest IPA. That's the only couple we haven't done yet. All the other ones we've done, we've done a... A pumpkin voodoo ranger? Yep, atomic pumpkin. Atomic pumpkin. Yeah, I wasn't much on that. We got the uh, video for you guys on our channel as well. Um, This one is from, uh, where are these from again? Geez, you think we know. Fort Collins, Fort Colorado. Collins, Colorado. From New Belgium Brewing. New Belgium Brewing. So there's the can again. Yeah, it's so cute. It is cool. So, and and it's got glasses oh, on. It's glasses. Oh, glasses. <laughs> I knew you going to say it. <laughs> So yeah, let's cracky lacky into this one. Try it out. Got the magic cup today, and Timmy. always just so you guys can see. Oh God! Oh, good sound effect. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a big. Uh, I'm not a big tea, hard tea, or any of that foo foo -y shit, but we try everything here at least once. Um, we thought we'd do something different for you guys today, so. Uh, Take it all dip. Our dog is over here. Uh, Woodstock, a.k.a. The Stink. Um, how was your guys' weather where, you, uh, where you're at? If you're not in Montana, or even if you are, how is the weather? Comment in the comment section. We'd like yeah. to know how your weather is. It's starting to snow here outside. It started raining. And, yeah. yeah. Sudden, it turned to snow. Yeah. The snow. All right, let's smell it. Mm. Oh, it definitely smells peachy. That's it smells does like smells like that. a fresh peach, actually, mm -hmm. that you'd buy from the store and you cut into it. Mm. That's what I get the smell of. Mm. Smells good. All right, guys. I mean, there ain't no no harshness today or none of that. So, mm. I guess. Uh, Kung Pao, Ching, 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 ching Kung Pao. Pao. Cheers to us. Cheers to you. Let's get ready to have some ice cold, huh, hard ice lemonade, tea. iced tea lemonade, Le a tea. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Oh, I'm not a tea drinker, you guys. Uh, by the way, that can was three dollars and twenty five cents, I believe, for that. What is it? A six twenty four ounce, twenty four ounce, or what is that? I think yep, it's tw twenty four ounces. ounces so. Think she of three twenty five, three fifty. Want to smell it? She loves alcohol. Oh yeah, I just get in there and get some. Now she's drinking it. Okay, that's <laughs> enough. Mm. I'm all about sharing, but oh, now you go for that one too, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you guys. So it definitely to me uh, is peachy, really peachy. You can definitely taste the tea. Um, yeah, it's not a good. Thing. I'm not a fan. It's really sugary. It's really sweet. That's why we don't do foo fooey ones. But we're gonna do them all. So foo foo or not, we'll drink them. Uh, I don't know how. What do you feel about it? Uh, it definitely would not get it again. It's not harsh down the throat. It's nice and smooth. It kind of tastes like those pure leaf teas just add the peach to it to me. An extra sugar. An extra sugar. Yeah, there is no bite. Here on Get Brews, we do mosquito bites, uh, spider bites, and snake bites. So zero to three is a mosquito, four to six is a uh, spider, and seven to ten is a snake bite. I'm going with a zero. There's no bite. No. There's no bite. Uh, what about you? I agree. Mm -hmm. You giving a zero or? Yeah. So zero. There you go on I that. Try yours out of the cup. Oh yeah. So again, we always switch. I tried the cup. Now Heather's trying the cup, and I'm trying the can. So. It smells the same. I think it tastes stronger out of the can, yes, though. I think it tastes worse out of the can. Uh, <laughs> we're ba we're not ba 
my mom is babysitting my brother's dog. Of course, we take the dog out. His name's Finn. He's he's a, he's a little little puppy dog. So if you hear noise in the background, that's what that is. So, um, yeah, that's how that is, you guys. Um, would I buy it again? Absolutely. Zero being the worst. Ten being the best. Absolutely not. I give it no. A zero. Zero is the worst. The the teas because it does kind of taste like twisted tea. It does I think taste like a worse twisted. I think tea. it's a worse twisted tea, and I'm I would I'm surprised because I love Voodoo Ranger. Yeah. So have you guys ever had uh Voodoo Ranger co uh hard tea hard tea uh peach? Try to comment in the comment section why you like it. What do you like about it? Is it better than twisted tea or is it not? Yeah. Uh, would you buy it again? No. Zero or ten? Zero. Zero. Zero for heroes. So there's that bitter review in the bag, you guys. Um, again, I'll, we'll drink it. Uh, we're gonna try everything on this channel, but I'm definitely not a fan. No. Do you no. at all? No. Stinky it's likes it. I hear it's a fan. Our dog likes it. We call her the Stink. Mm -hmm. Her actual name is Woodstock, but we got we call her AKA the Stink. Mm -hmm. The baboon's butt. She's got one. Yeah, the baby. She is nine years old. She's almost ten. She's got some health issues going on and stuff like that. Uh, she's very lovable. She's nice to everybody. Uh, she even loves cats. She loves birds. She loves guinea pigs. She loves guinea pigs. We had a guinea pig. Her name was Miss Piggy. She passed away, I don't know, what was it, five years ago? Mm -hmm. It's about, about five or six years ago, I think she passed away. But that was Stinky's little buddy. That was her first. So best that was her little fur buddy. Uh, She's right here. Yeah. She's really right here. Yeah. You seen her on the back over here a minute ago, behind us, and she just loves, 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 loves attention. Yeah. yeah she sleeps with us every night. So. Well, Even you, though we try not to let her. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a. Uh, Dogs, cats, guinea pigs, snakes, birds, ugh, spiders, spider. what do you, yeah, spiders, monkeys maybe. Monkeys. Comment in the comment section what animal you got, uh, and how long you've had it for. Maybe what the name of your animal is yeah. also too. So mm -hmm. that's a good. We would like to know. We would love to know. Are you guys ready for the Halloween season? It's another topic we're gonna talk about. Halloween. What is everybody doing for Halloween? Heather and I are gonna, of course, do some. Uh, good beer reviews for you guys during Halloween. Um, some good pumpkin beers. Yes, yeah, some good pumpkin beers. Probably gonna try uh, two or three of them, just depending on what we can find. We're gonna get them ahead of time so we have them before Halloween is here, so we can review them for you guys before they sell out. Cause there's actually they've been selling. It. Yep, and we're gonna have conversations about other stuff during Halloween. We'll figure something out. I don't know what yet. Something good. Something spooky, maybe. Something different for the uh, holiday. That's our favorite holiday is Halloween and Christmas. See, Heather's favorite holiday is Halloween. Yes. Mine's Christmas, but um, it's more getting starting to get like it's almost just tied for me for Halloween yeah, me and Christmas. Too. So my favorite is Christmas usually, mm -hmm. but I'm getting them like more of the Halloween spirit. So yeah. comment in the comment section what uh, holidays your guys' favorite and why? Is it Thanksgiving, which is boring to me, but some people may like it. The food yeah, is great. Yeah, the food. The food is always amazing, and the football games are another good thing. And if people go hunting, it's a great thing too, because mm -hmm. I think that's the last day of hunting season. Well, at least it is here in Montana, unless you got extended tags for, uh, you know, for the season. So, um. Yeah, is it Easter? Is Easter your favorite uh, holiday? Yeah. Or is it uh, New Year's Eve? Arbor Day. Arbor Day. Is it the 4th of July? Yes. Valentine's Day, perhaps, maybe? Yeah, mm -hmm. Earth Day. Oh, let's say I love you, Day is Valentine's Day. And Earth Day. Yeah. Earth Day is a good one. I like every holiday, really, you guys. St. Patty's Day is another fun one around here. Of course, every holiday we have together is a wonderful holiday, no matter which one it is. Yeah. Um, we got a topic to talk about today. We were gonna. It's Thursday, so it is a day of crime. Crime, and it happened in March, March uh, twentieth of yeah, twenty twenty four. Yeah, yeah, this year. Uh, you explain it. Um, her name is Carly Gregg. 
Yeah, Carly Gregg. I kept calling her Gre- Greg. Craig. It's Greg, <laughs> like in Greg Fokker. Mm-hmm. But go on. Anyway. And, um, well, she ended up shooting her mom three times. Her mom ended up dying, and then she ended up shooting her stepdad. It just grazed his neck, luckily, and he didn't die. Yeah, she shot her, her mom three times in the face. Or, yeah, two times in the face, was it? Yeah, mm-hmm. one in the chest. Which took her life, and her name, I don't know what her first name was, but her last name was Smiley, which is kind of yeah. weird, so, because her last name is Greg, which I couldn't yeah, kind of figure out. Yeah, which is, I think, her dad's. Which is her dad's, yeah. Yeah, because her Ex-wife, her, yeah. Her dad aren't together. Yeah, they aren't together no more, so. And, um. That makes sense, I guess, yeah. She was only 14 at the time, which is. That's sad. That's terrible. Yeah, 14-year-old girl. They said she had, uh, she was on medications. And which medication was that? Do you Lexapro. Remember? Lexapro. I have been on Lexapro. Heather's been on Lexapro. And it doesn't cause us to have thoughts like that. Yeah. Uh, I hate how people throw medication in the car. Co- it can, I'm not saying, cause issues with a person's brain and want to hurt somebody. But if you ever feel that way, reach out is my thing. You need to. Well, I guess she did. She tried telling some friends. Oh, but gotcha. You should tell an adult. Then. Yeah, and then when her after she was, after she killed her mom, mm-hmm. she came or called some friends, and one of the friends it doesn't say who it was. I'm guessing a little girl or boy. Don't know. Came over to the house and asked if she. And then uh, Harley is that how you say her name? Harley. Harley asked her friend, "Hey, would you like to see a dead body?" Yeah, have, do you get squeamish around dead bodies? Have yeah. you ever seen one? You want to see one? It's crazy. And then, so her friend, of course, I'm guessing, must have looked at it. Mm-hmm. And then her stepdad came home. Uh, Carly, right? Carly's Carly. Stepdad. Carly's stepdad came home. And that's when she shot him. And then the two girls jumped the fence. That was behind their house, I'm guessing. That's what it said. Mm-hmm. And then... Yeah, because she told her friend to wait outside because her stepdad was almost there. And he, she had told her friend that she had shot her mom three times and she has three more bullets for her stepdad because it was in a revolver. It was a magnet. Yeah. And then, so they finally must have, they caught the girl, I'm guessing, yeah, which they did. She goes to trial. And then this one guy that is there more or less is an observer, I'm guessing, is what I gathered out of it. The one that was talking? Yeah, the one that was talking about him with the glasses. taking photos, right? What was he? Oh, he is just, um, he is just like a journalist. He's a journalist, yeah. But anyway, he's taking pictures of Carly, the killer. Yeah. And she was posing for the camera. Yeah, like doing different poses. Yes. You know, he couldn't believe that. He's never seen that before. And he does a lot of, you know, murder trials and stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So she ended up going to trial. Mm -hmm. And then, what, three weeks ago or something like that? That's when they... Well, that's when they posted on YouTube. When they when they sentenced her. Oh, they sentenced her three weeks ago. She got... Well, she could have took a plea deal. She would have got 40 years. She didn't want to take the plea deal. So she got life in prison and the possibility of no parole. Yeah, without the possibility. Without the possibility of parole, yeah. Yeah. So that's what she got out of that. I know it's not the longest story that we have, but no. that's crime that she, we looked at for you guys. We did know that uh, she got mad at her mom. So another friend at school had found out she had all these marijuana vapes like all these weed vapes oh yeah the vapes stuff. yeah that's and right all these burner phones and so he ended up telling her mom because her mom was a teacher at the school she was a really good math teacher at the school and he ended up telling her mom because he thought that like it wasn't good for her because it was like changing her yeah and so her mom they got home they left the school around i think they said like three thirty, and got home like right before four and that's when the mom went in and the daughter stayed outside. Carly had stayed outside for a few minutes. And the mom was in there going in her room and she was grabbing all the vapes. Yeah. And she was finding the phones. And while she was doing that, Carly went to her mom's room and grabbed the revolver from underneath the mattress. Yeah, her mom's revolver or her stepdad's, whoever it may have been. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, and that's when chaos broke out. She shot her mom 
and then her stepdad. Yeah, but she, prior to that, she was petting her dogs and singing to them. She was singing to her dogs. She was... She stupid was fly. Stupid fly of the caravan. You little bastard. But yeah. I don't, so she had... She was singing to the dogs Well, she decided... She was setting up her stepdad. She had messaged him off her mom's phone. Well, that's right. Asking, are you almost home? When are you going to be home? And he said, um, I watched the short, and it said that it was him talking, and he said that he had got the door open about three or four inches, and that's when he she had shot him, so he wasn't even in the house yet. Yeah, she was aiming for his head, but the gun was heavy, so it ended up shooting him in the neck over here somewhere. Versus the head. He got lucky. The mom on the other hand didn't get so lucky. And I hate how the, uh, who was it, the prosecutor? or Not her, her defense attorney was like, oh yeah, well three people lost their lives that day technically. But she didn't. There, She's yeah. she's getting to live and breathe. breathe and eat and sleep. Her mom is passed away and her dad's, stepdad's the only one that's living. But here's what bothers me. This girl had good grades. She skipped a grade. Skipped a grade. Really she was really smart. She got a high, what? It was a 30 on her ACT. Yeah, she got a high grade on those. And, and that's when she was 13. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then they talked about that maybe it was had to do with uh, sexual abuse because, well, they she was accusing her stepdad of some kind of abuse. It's not she, such... Necessarily sexual, but some kind of abuse in the house, I she think. She had told two friends, a few friends, the cops looked into it, but there was... Didn't find anything yet, in a way. that they were... Obviously, they about. didn't find nothing at all. And so she accused that, accusations, but nothing ever got found. But yeah, it's... Uh, she gets to breathe and stuff is my mm-hmm. thing, and she's sitting there, poor me, poor me. Well, no. <laughs> you yeah. get what you... You get what you had coming to you as far as I'm concerned. Exactly, and you're just mad because you got caught, you got caught and you're not getting away with everything, no. and you don't get it. And, and you know, killing somebody's not the answer to anything anyways. Well, and I guess she had told a few friends that she was going to kill her mom, and, you know, they were like, oh, you're not going to kill your mom, you're just no. saying that, you're mad at your mom, you know. It's sad. It is. It's sad. a sad all the way around, really. I mean, I guess mm-hmm. in a sense, yeah, she lost her life because she'll never get to see, you know, her friends again and stuff like that. But and see the outside world again and be able to grow up and be a, you know, a nice young lady. She'll be forever behind bars. Yeah. So. She won't have a bright future. No. It's sad. It really is. It is very sad. But we got other videos coming up for you guys in the next few days, too. Now, they're all going to be different. Yeah. Some different topics. We're not going to tell you what yet. You'll just kind of have to figure it out. Kind of a surprise, you yeah, know? exactly. Because we're just trying to do a few little different niches on here and tweak our channel a little bit for you guys so it's not boring. Mm-hmm. And so it's not just doing beer reviews and be like, okay, well, that was it. Have a great day. Well, we like to talk about other things with you guys, or if you have any topics you want us to talk about, comment in the comment section. We'll be glad to hear them, and also glad to talk about them as well. I agree. And another thing is, you guys, if there's any beers you want us to review, please comment in the comment section. Let us know. Yeah. We're willing to try other beers if, if we can find them again. <laughs> we can't get beers from out of state unless we go there. For whatever reason, I don't know, we can't order it's beers. It's just a weird rule. Uh, from other states, but yet you guys come over from Montana, which is ideally weird if you're paying for it. Unless you go through, like, the store. Yeah, unless you go through the store, but... And then they charge you more, too. They charge you more, but no, I don't think so much beer. I know hard alcohol you can. Well, you can with the beer. Can you? Yeah. yeah I guess you can beer, too. Because Sam and I used to order it through, yeah. like, uh, Cat's Bar. Oh, that's right. I guess our, our people here that dispense the beer, though, are kind of assholes. They really... Yeah. They're rude, and yeah, I don't even like to really talk to them. Our vendors are just kind of mean. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't like to bother somebody as it is when they're doing their job, but I we have, and it's just not a good outcome. It's just really snotty, so it's like, why waste your time? Exactly. But if you guys do have one that you want us to try, we can find it or get a hold of it. We definitely do it. Yes. yes. Uh, so comment again in the comment section, or you can uh, email us at getbrews at gmail.com. That's G-E-T-B-R-E-W-S at symbol gmail.com. Gmail.com. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, I mm-hmm. hope everybody is having a great day. Yeah, I mean, it's not very nice out here. No, it's cold and shit. It's, it's freezing. Cold. 
Sorry our video is not the longest one today, you guys. Uh, we don't have a lot of energy today, but we wanted to upload a video for you all yeah. anyway. So tomorrow's will be longer. Uh, maybe there'll be more to it, definitely, for sure. But, yeah. That was just a fast one for you guys today with the amount of time that we had. We also work, too. It's like all the rest of y'all do. This is not our job. It's just something we like to do in our spare time when we yeah. do have time off. Exactly. Um, you know, we don't expect it to get huge. If it does, good. If it doesn't, that's fine too. It's something we enjoy to do for us and for also you guys that exactly. you know like our reviews. You know, not everybody's gonna like it. It's gonna be a lot of people that hate it, but there might be some that like it as well. And that's okay if you don't like it. Yeah, and, and thank you so much for the sixteen subscribers we do have. And all the views. And all the views from everybody. We really do appreciate it. If you guys would do us a favor, please, if you already haven't, comment, subscribe, like all notifications on, and dingle the bells. That's our thing now. So <laughs> there you go. Um, Yeah, I guess we'll just end it there for tonight. I really don't have much else to say. Like I said, it's just kind of a blah day. Mm. When the weather's like this, it it sucks because our winters here are longer than our summers and springs are. So yeah. it feels like you don't even get a fall. It feels like your fall's already over with, even it's though it's not. Winter. Yeah, it already feels like winter. It don't feel like we're even getting a fall. And then spring, it's winter, summer. Yeah, because all the leaves even haven't even fell off the tree yet that yeah. are outside. It started turning colors. Too. Yeah, it's weird. It is really so weird. it already feels like winter, you guys. That's what we were getting at. It's yes. miserable, Not miserable, that. miserable, miserable. Oh, by the way, what's your guys' favorite? Um, what do you guess? What would you call it? Season. Season. Spring, summer, fall, or winter. Comment in the comment section. Let us know what you like about them too, or what you don't like about them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I guess we'll leave it there. Until next time, from uh, Heather and Cody and uh, Stink. We'll talk to you guys later. Get brews. Have a good night. Happy Thursday. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye.